What's up? I'm Alex Weiss, and you are watching Awesomeness TV. Have you guys ever seen those recipes on Pinterest that are like incredible looking, but supposedly only have three ingredients or less? I don't really buy it, so I'm gonna test that out today. You're watching three items or less. So today I am going to be making Jello popsicles with only three ingredients. I have no idea what to expect. I like Jello a lot, so I suppose it's gonna be good. It, I feel like it's just like another texture, but I'm still eating Jello. That's my opinion on the matter. But let me tell you what the ingredients are: Jello powder, sugar, and then water, which I feel like doesn't even count as an ingredient. So we're basically only using two ingredients today. So let's get started. First off, I have two cups of water boiling right here. But in the meantime, I am going to mix my Jello powder and my sugar. This is one packet of Jello, and this is a third of a cup of sugar. But the sugar is optional. You can completely omit it from the process if you want, but you can also just sprinkle it. Whatever you want, you can do. But I'm going to put both of these in this bowl and mix them. This is basically just like making Jello, but you're just gonna freeze it in popsicle form. So if you like Jello, you're probably gonna like this. All right, mix this. That was very simple. Done. So now I'm going to take the boiling water and put it in this bowl. Pour it in. Wow, look at that color. What a nice red. All right, now I'm gonna mix everything in this bowl until it all dissolves. Now I'm going to pour the cold water in. I'm a little confused because I feel like this is a lot of water for the ingredients that I have. I don't know how strong the taste is gonna be of these popsicles, but I think it's ready. All right, I'm going to pour the mixture into these little popsicle containers. Pop the covers on. Okay, now I am going to put these in the freezer. I'm not sure for how long, but I guess we'll check in on them and see periodically. All right, the Jello popsicles have been in the freezer for a little while, and uh, let's see how how it tastes. Give it to me. Presentation. I want to just say that um, I did a divine job <laughs> with this plate. I think. The popsicles look like popsicles, so I can't really tell you whether I think it's gonna be good or not because it just looks like a popsicle. But let's see. I just guess I'll take the first lick. <laughs> Whoa! I, that like that that was curveball. So good. I didn't expect to like it, and it's so good. I'm like kind of shocked that this is only Jello, water, and sugar. It tastes like a popsicle that you could buy at the supermarket. It's good though, I would eat it again. Great, I have another one. I will eat it again. It definitely does taste like Jello, and if you're a fan of like a very flavorful popsicle, you might not love it, but I, I kind of like the subtle taste. It's like a little icy with a subtle hint of Jello. For me, this three items or less was a success, but I'm not sure if everyone's gonna like it. You can let me know, though, by leaving a comment down below after you try it out. I think I just made a poem. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. That'll be linked down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.